Number one, when a player is selected at random from a high school boys baseball team, the probability that he is a pitcher is 0.35. The probability that he's right-handed is 0.79, and the probability that he is right-handed that he's a right-handed pitcher is 0.26. Let P be the event the player is a pitcher, and R be the event that the player is right-handed. A Venn diagram is provided below, so we should probably fill in this Venn diagram here. So the AND probability is where we always want to start, because that's our 0.26. I know that AND probability is 0.26. The entire P circle is 0.35. Well, I already used up 0.26, so what's left for this, the rest of the circle here? 0.09, because together those two need to add to 0.35, so if you subtract, you'll get 0.09. So 9% fall into that category there. The entire right-handed circle is 0.79. I used up 26% of that 79%, so that leaves me with 53%, so 0.53. Well, what about the people who are not pitchers and also not right-handed? We should probably figure out what's left over. So 0.09 plus 0 0.26 plus 0.53, there's 88% that falls as into pitcher or right-handed, which means there's 12% that are left over. So find the following probabilities that a randomly selected player is each of the following. So what's the probability that I get right-handed but not a pitcher? So and not a pitcher, so the complement of pitcher. So right-handed but not a pitcher. What does that come out to be? Right-handed, but I don't want to include the pitchers, that's 53%, 0.53. A pitcher, but not right-handed. So the probability of pitcher and not right-handed, so the complement of right. That comes out to be pitcher, but I don't want to include the right-handed ones, 9%, 0.09. What's the probability that they're not right-handed and they're not a pitcher. So who's not right-handed and who's not a pitcher? Who doesn't fall in the P circle and who also doesn't fall in the R circle? So who's on the outside? That's where that 0.12 comes in, that 12% comes in. What's the probability I get a pitcher or they're right-handed? So they just have to be at least one. So these guys are just pitchers, those guys are both, those guys are right-handed as well, so if I add those three probabilities together, which we already did, if you add those together, you get 0.88. 88% of them are a pitcher, or they're right-handed. What's the probability that I find a left-handed player? Well, that's the probability that they're not right-handed. What's the probability of not right? Well, if right-handed is 79%. The entire right circle is 79%. What percent's left over? Well, that's 1 minus 0.79, which gives me 21%, so 0.21. What's the probability that they're not a pitcher? So the probability of the pitcher complement, the complement of pitcher. Well, 35% of them, 0.35, fit in the P circle, so what's not P? 0.65. Explain why the events is a pitcher and is right-handed are not mutually exclusive. Well, mutually exclusive means they share no outcomes. Mutually exclusive means they share no outcomes. So why are they not mutually exclusive? Because the probability... The probability... Of picking a right-handed pitcher of both events occurring well if there were none of them that would be zero and they'd be mutually exclusive the circles wouldn't overlap but the circles do overlap right there with 26 percent is 0.26 not zero if it was zero they'd be mutually exclusive but because it's 0.26 there is some overlap there's some that are both pitchers and right-handed, so they are not mutually exclusive.